What's up guys, it's me Jeremy. So similar to the LeBlanc and Rengar reworks, there's been a Riot post on the talent rework a while back regarding his plans and like pretty much what you can expect is going to happen with his rework. Now the thing is, is that I had originally not intended on making this video because I kind of already made a talent video in the past previously, but you know, the Riot update's a really big deal and you guys are enjoying my rework videos thus far, so I kind of decided that, you know what, screw it, even though it's like kind of a week late, I, I just want to cover every single rework possible when there's, you know, official Riot information on what's going to happen, and I personally really enjoy making these videos about reworks anyway, you know, this sort of design and like theory crafting stuff, I guess you could say, like predictions and just kind of, you know, breaking down what we can expect has really been something I enjoy for a long time now. So Talon of course is the kind of champion that's kind of made out to be like this awesome like mysterious kind of rogue assassin sort of creature, you know he moves from the shadows, he jumps around, he takes down his enemies, but in all honesty he plays a lot more like a one man team buster kind of, you know just waiting for the right chance to jump on just a squishy target and then just pop his whole combo and then you know sometimes in the process accidentally kills everyone else too. So there's not that much counterplay actually because the thing about Talon is that he can offload his damage just so fast, right? Like he just, all he needs to do is just press all of his buttons and that's kind of it. Like there's really no time to react at all. And that's a big part of why Riot decided that he needed a rework and why he's gonna be one of the big four in the upcoming Assassin update. So essentially the aim they have with him is to take some of that brute force away and to make him a little bit more of like a creative champion, I guess you could say. You know, Talon has his own niche as a champion, assassin-wise, but his kit was never really that well tied to it, so of course the aim with his rework is definitely going to try and make him a little bit more unique as an assassin, including like his own unique mechanics and just way more cool abilities from a thematic point of view, while also at the same time making him a lot healthier of course and more of just like a true assassin champion. So to accomplish the assassin reworks overall on this sort of scale, Riot sets out these gameplay goals, you know, the things they design around to make sure that each champion actually ends up turning out the way they want them to, right? So for Talon, a huge part of this, this goal that they have for his design is going to be roaming. So if you think about it, assassins are all, you know, reasonably good roamers because they've got great dashes, they've got gap closers, you know, they've got a lot of damage, but none of the assassin champions are really all that good at just getting from one lane to another in the first place, you know. Those gap closers are a great way to start a fight, to enter a fight when you're actually ganking the lane once you get there, but they don't necessarily help you travel from one lane to the next, right? So Talon is going to be changed to actually take up that niche, like that's going to be his thing as an assassin. So from what we've seen, it's almost certain that he's going to get a way to traverse the map to just like roam from one lane to another in just a seriously awesome way. He's probably going to be faster at just getting from one lane to another outside of combat to make that work, you know, also just getting back to his lane faster as well. I mean, right now he only really gets a speed up when he's ultimate, so that's not entirely that useful when you're actually out of combat. This might take place on the form of a new ability, maybe a new passive or something like that. We haven't entirely heard specifics as far as this mechanic goes exactly, but we know for sure that Talon is gonna be all about roaming now. Right now his engage kind of sucks for enemies because he can just blink out of his stealth for an insta-kill, so he will also probably gain a new interaction instead as a way to actually initiate fights after he roams to other lanes. Something that does make him feel a little bit more like that rogue archetype kind of assassin would be really cool too, so hopefully it's going to have some new animations or something to go with it, but he's definitely going to get some steps up thematically. The next step of course for Talon is going to be making him way less face roll. This is something that's pretty much happening to all the assassins. For Talon specifically right now he kind of just like pops his blink, throws out a rake and a stab, makes sure to work his ultimate in there somewhere too, and he can just annihilate someone in under a second, especially if he's fed, it's just crazy, you know. The combo honestly becomes busted if he's fed, and even if he's not it's still quite powerful and it definitely needs a slowdown to give opponents just a window to actually react to counter it. So this is, you know, pretty much how they're balancing most assassins. They're extending the actual duration that it takes to kill someone, and even just like a tiny delay in their kits gives people a chance to land like a quick stun or just instantly use exhaust or just something so minor but still enough to let them counter out the assassin play, pick them off, or just like even flash away or something like that, right? 
So this can be done in a variety of ways, but from what Ride has said, it sounds like he's going to get some kind of like a mark interaction or some kind of thing where he has to do multiple things before he actually lands a big chunk of burst damage on a target, because that's a, like a pretty good way to delay burst damage because it means you have to work something in like an auto attack into your combo for the extra damage, or just have to actually land multiple abilities before you can start pumping out that entire burst combo. And you know, that goes hand in hand with the next gameplay for Talon's rework, which is Target Focus. So Target Focus is the idea that assassins are kind of just made to assassinate one target, right? You know, right now Talon can deal damage to multiple people when he only really intends on killing one of them. And because of that, it means just a huge amount of overall damage for teams to deal with, especially when he's fed, right? So chucking blades everywhere, you know, that's a pretty cool theme of Talon. But to make him a really true assassin, it makes a little bit more sense that he will take a hit to his area of effect damage. So it sounds like with the assassin reworks, Katarina is probably going to become the area of effect assassin, and Talon is going to lose a little bit of his area of effect power. So that might actually mean removing the area of effect damage from an ability like his ultimate, or maybe just making him split damage across all targets hit or something like that, you know, so it's more effective when it only hits one dude or just like some fall off damage, right? Like the first target hit takes the full damage and subsequent targets hit take, you know, reduced damage, right? We don't entirely know enough about how it's going to specifically take place, but his overall air of effect damage will go down. However, it probably almost certainly actually will not affect his rake since that is an ability that is pretty core to his you know, thematics and design. It's not something that I would expect to see a lot of change. And it's also a lot of what he relies on in lane to wave clear. And laning with Talon would honestly really suck with just like a weak rake ability. So it's probably gonna be left alone. I mean, it's definitely a really cool mechanic. It's a really unique spell as well. So there's not really that much reason to change it all that much. All right, so with that said, let's go over what you can expect will go down with the Talon rework. What we're definitely expecting to see is a new passive that interacts with the rest of his kit in a more proactive way. That's definitely something that would work a lot more with the roaming idea. You know, that could probably be his passive is just something that helps him move around the map. So it's definitely possible that the new passive is going to be that roaming thing. But, you know, it could also be some element of his damage combo as well. His Q is a little bit of a mystery right now. I mean, auto attack resets are pretty cool and the bleed effect on it is actually kind of cool for like a rogue sort of character. But so far, this is the one ability in his kit that Ride actually haven't mentioned that much about it. So that might mean it's not changing all that much or it might mean that it's actually gonna be a brand new ability that they don't really wanna say all that much about. What we do know is that they definitely want to keep Talon a bit more simple in terms of inputs rather than an assassin like Zed. So unlike a lot of the other assassins actually he's not going to become that much harder to play he's not gonna get that much super complicated mechanics like a lot of the other assassins are I mean he might become a little bit more difficult to play strategically just because of that emphasis on target selection now but unlike you know Ride has said that they're probably making all of the other assassins or at least of the the big four they're making all of the other assassins that fall into the big four a little bit more difficult to play except for Talon so next up we have Talon's W Rake, and we have it on pretty good authority from Ryder Quotes that it's pretty much just gonna stay the same with a little few tweaks here and there. You know, Talon's W is a really iconic ability to Talon, and it's also really crucial to his laning phase. So like we guessed in our previous Talon video, it does make a lot of sense that he's just gonna keep it in pretty much the same form, maybe some numbers or cooldown changes or something like that, but overall it's not gonna be that different. However, his E Cutthroat is definitely Definitely getting big changes for sure because we know that Talon is getting some kind of new mobility tool which might mean the new passive but nah it's almost certainly just gonna be a change to his E. Now what they're going to do for his E is that they're actually probably going to take the current version of it away and it's almost certainly going to be replaced with some kind of true movement ability you know a, a dash that you can just target in any direction kind of like like Lucian's dash for example. You know, Riot has actually said that Talon will situationally be one of the most mobile champions in the entire game, so it might actually mean that he will also get some kind of cooldown reset on this ability, potentially. My guess for that would be, if we're correct about the idea of like this new mark sort of interaction, that might have something to do with resetting his mobility effect. 
they said it's going to be something that is like an old ability, but with like a, a new little twist that's going to be pretty significant. So it's actually pretty cool to see what they might come up with this. And I'm definitely excited to see how his new E turns out. His ultimate is actually a little bit similar of a story to Rake. It's just a really iconic ability that Rai doesn't want to mess with that much. I'm guessing that the area of effect damage is going to be lowered a little bit. It's probably going to keep its area of effect components, but I would expect to see some sort of fall off damage where it does the full damage to his priority target, but then to other targets it does like a little bit less damage. His stealth effect on the ultimate is probably going to get changed as well somehow though to help balance it out, as well as to go along with the fact that they are just reworking the stealth mechanic in general, but the new E is probably going to cover his tracks there. I mean there's no telling where Talon is going to get his new roaming speed from, so it's probably going to be his passive, but it could also be on maybe a new passive that's attached to his ultimate or something like that. And it kind of just depends on where Ride wants his power spikes to be. If they want to make him survive the laning phase before hunting down champions in lanes, I could definitely expect to see them put it behind like a new passive as a part of his ultimate. You know, that's a pretty good way to gate that power spike to make sure that he has to actually get level 6 before roaming. But it, you know, again, it could just be on his passive, especially if it's something like a mini boots of mobility effect. I mean, for one thing, it means you'd be able to buy different boots on him rather than just Moby boots every time, and that'd be definitely a welcome change for sure. Or you could just go nuts and buy them anyway and double the effect. That's going to be pretty cool too. Anyway, from what we can tell so far, Talon is probably going to have a pretty significant shift in his play style, which is potentially a good thing because it means he's actually going to work more of like a proper assassin rather than just a face roll champion kind of where he just presses all of his buttons for a combo and then his actual skill is involved in like strategic and positioning and like flanking and all that stuff or at least now if you're going to wipe a team with him you're going to have to work harder for it rather than just kind of waiting for people to group up and then smashing your air of effect abilities his roaming is actually going to be really cool i'm interested to see that after his rework and it's probably going to be the big reason why a lot of people want to pick him up in games which might actually turn him into a really competitive pick at the pro level which is always cool to see and that kind of roaming power is always really good in solo queue I don't know, if you guys have any guesses for what Talon's changed kit might look like, definitely leave us your best ideas in the comments. And looks like that's gonna be it for me. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you didn't, drop the dislike. Subscribe if you want. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.